Islamnet is establishing the first of its kind mega mosque, think about that, and Dawa Center in Norway. If you donate to support this cause on behalf of your parents, Allah will inshallah build a home for them in Jannah. Because the Prophet Muhammad said, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build a house for him in Jannah. So you can inshallah help your parents earn the eternal home in paradise right now by clicking the link below. The first commandment, hear O Israel, your Lord God is one. You believe in that? Do you believe in Jesus as God? Jesus is the Son of God. But is he God? Jesus is the Son of God. I heard you say Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus. Now can you answer my question? Jesus, is he Almighty God? Yes. Good. Is the Father Almighty God? Yes. Is the Holy Spirit Almighty God? Yes. How many Almighty Gods you got? What's the first commandment? I already said to you. Say it again. Say it again, now you. Say it loud. I said it very loud. What's the first commandment? The first commandment doesn't mention the Father, doesn't mention the Son, doesn't mention the Holy Spirit. It what? says, Hear, O Israel, your Lord God is one. You heard me loud and clear this time? Okay. Now you said the Father is fully God, the Son is fully God, the Holy Spirit is fully God. How many fully gods have you got? What's the first commandment? How many fully gods have you got? You, you want to play a game? Yes? You really want to play games? What's the first commandment? You heard me, you know that. Do you have a, do you have a habit of repeating yourself? The first commandment is, Hey, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Yeah, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What's the first commandment? No, what did I say? I don't understand. You don't understand English? Which language do you understand? Calm down. I'm calm. What's the first commandment? What did I say the first commandment was? What did I say it was? Either you have a problem hearing, or you have a problem comprehending. Which one is it? Okay. I asked you which God did Jesus believe in? You said Jesus believed in God. Yes? Did he? You said the Father is fully God. I have no issues with that. You also said the Holy Spirit is fully God. Yes? Is he a true God? Yes? Who did Jesus say is the one true God? Yes, he is. What's the first commandment? You really want to play games, don't you? You know, the reason he's saying this is because he either doesn't read his Bible. If you read John 17:3. I'll tell you what Jesus said about the first commandment with regards to the first commandment. Do you know what he said? Open it, you got a Bible there. So everybody who knows this particular passage in first sorry in John chapter 17 verse 3. Do you want to read aloud? Uh, you, do you not understand me or something? You're, you're speaking in um, sign language now. Can you please read? You got the Bible there. Read it aloud. So what? It's your Bible. Read John 17 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know the, the only true God and Jesus Christ who thou hast sent. Okay. So when he says, This is eternal life, that they may know you, like it says, thee, that's a KJV? Is that the King James Version? Okay. The term the means you, right? So whom is he referring to when he says you? Who is the you? You tell me. It's your Bible. You should have read it. You tell me. Okay, tell I believe... Me, tell me your understanding. Okay, my understanding is a father. Do you agree? What's the first commandment? What's, what's wrong with this guy? He is he, the first <laughs> but, but either he hasn't heard me, like two, sec, two times I've repeated it, and he knows he has heard me, Yes? So, did Jesus... I have to follow the commandment, no? Which one? The first commandment. Only the first? What were the other, what were the other nine? Do you know them? Do you know them? Yes. What are they? What is the second commandment? What's the first one? I already told you that. What's the second one? I'll say the first one again. Yeah, say it hey, again. Hey, O Israel, our Lord is one. Yes. What's the second the one? The second one is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yeah. And Rule your heart, mind, and soul. Okay. And the third one? You said you know them all. Tell me. Do not cover another man's belongings. Do not what? Cover another man's belongings. Belongings? Salam alaikum, Or wife? What's the fourth one? Do not bear false witness. The fifth one? Do not kill. Six. Do not steal. Seven. Do not commit adultery. Eight. Remember the Sabbath? Do you? Do you keep the Sabbath? Only your mother and father. Do you keep and the Sabbath? Do not use the Lord's name in vain. Do you keep the Sabbath? He doesn't want to answer that question. Why? I wonder why. Because the Christians don't keep the Sabbath. What's the so, first so the man, the man who just said that he, he believes in all the Ten Commandments, all of a sudden doesn't want to follow the Ninth One. Why? 
What's the first command? Why is that? Why are you stuck in one commandment, which is the most important commandment? I agree. But the most important commandment doesn't say the Trinity. The one that hangs on all the prophets. What's the commandment? Not to worship a Trinity. Do you agree? The first commandment is, Hail Israel, the Lord our God is one, and you should love him with your heart, yes. mind, and soul. Absolutely. One, and not you three in one. Neighbor, you love yourself. So now go back to John 17, 3. Did he believe in the first commandment? John 17, 3. Yeah. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So who's thee? What is your problem? My problem is not a problem, it's a question. What's your question? What are you confused about? Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So why does he worship God? What's the first commandment? First commandment, I've already told you many times. Say it one more time. No, I won't. Are you going to run away? Say it one more time. Are you going to run away? I'll tell you what, you know what? The Jesus, if he worshiped God, how can he be God? What's the first commandment? Yeah, how can he be God if he worship the, com the first commandment? I'm asking command? you a simple question, brother. No, you have already answered your simple question can several you, can times. Can you answer the question one more time, please? No, I won't. I'll give you money if you answer I don't question. want your money. I can't help you, though. You can't help you me. You to answer a simple question. If you cannot answer, if you do not even know whom Jesus worshipped, then your first commandment is What's of no use. Jesus worshipped a God. Why don't you worship the God Jesus worshipped? You see, this is a problem with people who say they believe in the first commandment, but then they worship the Trinity. What is the this is the reason that he doesn't know the first commandment. That's why he wants us to repeat it again and again. And I've answered your question many times. The question is this. Why do you follow the Trinity, which is not in the Bible? What's the first commandment, brother? The Trinity is not in the Bible, yet he wants to know what is the first commandment. The first commandment doesn't tell you to believe in a triune what God. What is the first Does commandment? It? Allah Akbar. Yes? Does what? the first commandment tell you to worship a triune God? No, it doesn't. What does it tell you? Yes? Why shouting now? Calm down. Now, uh, <laughs> when I asked him the question, he didn't want to answer. So what does the first The first word? commandment tells you not to worship a triune God. So it says, it, tell us it tells us, very clearly to worship the one true God and that one true God is the Father. Do you agree? Why are you quiet now? Bye bye. You see, when the truth comes even from their own Bible, they want to reject it. The reason he kept saying the first commandment is as if that is the first and the most important commandment. I totally agree. In fact, when Jesus was asked, he said about the most important commandment, he said this, the first commandment. Yes? And he says, Hear, O Israel, your Lord God is one. You know whose words were this? These were the words given to Moses. The one that Jesus repeats in Matthew 12, 29. This is called the Shema. The Shema, it says, Shema Israel, Adonai Elohinu, Adonai Ahad. This is the Shema which he kept saying the first commandment. He did not tell you to worship a trinity like the way he admitted he did. God did not tell you to worship a tri triune God. And this is the clear message of Jesus Christ. Like you said, this was the message of all the prophets. I totally agree. All the prophets told you to believe the one true God. And who's the one true God? Not the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes? It wasn't somebody who was a human being. It wasn't someone who was a created being like Jesus Christ. It was the God of that created being. It is the God of all created beings, including you and me, and Jesus, and all the prophets. Yes? And this message is found this Shema of, of Jesus, this testimony of Jesus is found in John 17, 3, which he didn't want to understand even. When he says, this is eternal life that they may know thee, that they may know you. Who is the you here? The you here is not the Trinity. It is only the Father. No wonder he wanted to evade that. Yes? And this is exactly the message. Even the, they said they follow Jesus, but they refuse to actually believe in the testimony of Jesus. That's the reason I say that these people are not the followers of Christ, but they are anti-Christ. They oppose Jesus. Exactly, yes. So not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord, will go to the kingdom of heaven, but only the ones who? Go on. You know your Bible? Only the ones who do the will of the Father. He didn't say those who do the will of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. No. He says only those who do the will of the Father. Many people will come and tell him, did I not cast out the demons in your name and, and uh, I don't know, uh, uh, basically do miracles in your name and do X, Y, Z in your name. In the name of Jesus, you do anything that goes out the window because Jesus says, I do not know you get away from me, you evil doers. Why did Jesus condemn those people who are casting out demons in the name of Jesus as evil doers? Those who do miracles in the name of Jesus as evil doers. 
If Jesus' name was above all names, then why does Jesus himself condemn them as evil doers? Yes, you know very well, but you won't answer. You know it, but you will not answer. The reason for that is because Jesus clearly tells you in Matthew 7, 21, 22, that to do the will of the Father, if you do not do the will of the Father, you are of no use. You are an evil doer yourself. Doesn't matter even if you take Jesus' name and cast out demons. The point is you are an evil doer on the day of judgment. So do not take the risk. My dear Christian brothers and sisters, do not take the risk and put yourself and be condemned as an evil doer on the day of judgment and to be cast out into hellfire. Because that is exactly what's going to happen if you worship a human being like Jesus Christ. Jesus himself, if he was your God, ask yourself this question. Who is the almighty God? The God that you worship as Jesus or the God of the God whom Jesus himself worshipped? This is the key question you need to ask yourself. Yes, that the God of your God is clearly the one, the one who is almighty God. Yes. The God of the Jesus, one God. the God of Abraham, the God of Jesus, the God of Abraham, the God of Muhammad, the God of the God of Muhammad and the God of all the prophets. His name is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Sorry about those um, nasty words in there, but I hope these guys, they, they censor it or something. Okay.